G'day, my name is Chris McFlard. I'm a project engineer at Vico Software. Welcome to the Schedule Planner video training series level three. In this vignette, we're going to set up a calendar, assign a calendar to a task, and I'll show you how to attach a logo to the header. Basically, this module will show you how to set up the project calendar, how to set a company logo in the header, and how to assign a calendar to a task. It is assumed that you have assigned cost components to car, uh, it is assumed that you have assigned cost components to tasks and have defined your productivity rates. With Vico Office loaded, let's head to the Schedule Planner workflow to level 4 to open the schedule. When you launch Schedule Planner, it will automatically load in the flow line view. Our first step is to set the project. Mm. Our first step is to define the project settings. Head to the project drop down menu and select project settings. In this view, we will set the project foundations. We simply need to enter the correct information into the corresponding categories. If we need to, we can protect the file with the password. We can also review the location hierarchy. In this instance, we're just going to click OK to save our new settings. As you can see, we have now populated the header of the Flowline view. If you want to include your firm's logo in the Schedule Planner header, we can do this by heading to the Views tab and selecting View Settings. Alternatively, we can use the View Settings logo in the toolbar. Let's head to Headers and Footers to enter our company's logo. Check the Show dialog to load a bitmap image of your company logo. We can also adjust the information which is presented in both the header and the footer and, and decide if we want the header and footer on all pages when we print. Click OK to save. Our next step is to set our project calendar to ensure that we are working on the correct days. We can start by first heading to the projects tab and to the edit calendar setting. We're going to start by adjusting the project calendar. Because Armed Forces Day is not necessarily a celebrated holiday and it often falls on a weekend day, let's remove it from the project calendar. Simply highlight it and select remove. This will remove it from the project calendar and all the tasks which are tied to this. Let's now create a new six day calendar. Start by selecting the new calendar function and giving your new calendar a title. We will then need to define the working days. We will uncheck Saturday as it's no longer a free day. In this view, we can also set the number of hours for the working day. And we can also define what time our workforces begin work. Let's click OK to set our calendar. Double click on any task to load its settings. Note in the timings dialog that the project calendar is set. Drop down the scroll menu and select the 6 day calendar. Note that our calendar moved from the 1st of October to the 15th of May. This is because we are now adding Saturdays into our working week, which we allows us to complete this task earlier. If we need to edit this calendar, we can quickly navigate back through the edit function. As we don't need to change anything, we'll click OK to save. Let's click OK again to save this new calendar to our task. And note, note that the overall duration of the task line has been recalculated and it is now finishing in May. In this vignette, you have been shown how to establish the project settings as well as how to create a new calendar and how to assign that calendar to a task.